Hey, welcome back to the last episode of Mindset Monday. <laughs> nah, we gotta do that. We gotta do the real theme. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, I'm I'm excited to 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 connect with you all, and um, I, I've really enjoyed doing these Mindset Mondays. And um, it's it's the end of December, or it's uh, in December when you're watching this or hearing this. And I would love to hear if you would love this, uh, maybe a new series next uh, in 2022, doing Mindset Monday. I've really enjoyed doing it. So maybe even if you don't want me to do it, I might just do it anyway, to be honest with you. I'm enjoying this. And I, I, I kind of find it um, good for my own soul to share some of the things that I've kind of worked through and kind of working through this process, kind of sharing some ideas and, and doing these little short podcasts. And really kind of what I want to talk about today is really the idea that um, I've shared nine episodes here and the final one is that you got to figure out your own solutions you got to figure out and like a lot of times it's like it's like I'm passing the buck when I'm saying this I'm not passing the buck at all what I'm do saying is that everyone has unique circumstances so when you're listening to me you might hear something and say well I can't do that or you know I don't necessarily or that's not going to work for me and I probably agree with you probably a lot of stuff i've said doesn't work with you but a lot of stuff i said probably could work for you and you have to kind of figure that stuff out on your own and i i think part of this is really my mentality is that i i look to what i'm hoping and i say this and i think this is something when we talk i always try to share a little personal and professional and here's the professional side of it is that when i work with groups one of the things i say to them all the time is look i'm not here to tell you how to teach i'm not telling you how to lead what i am here to do is provide you some ideas right at the end of the day you got to figure out the solutions right i can i can talk about this work for me this work for me i don't know your community i don't know who you are i don't know the people you work with so you got to figure out the way forward you can't just take what i say and just carbon copy and it'll give you results and i think a lot of times we listen to people thinking that if we just do what they did that we'll get to the same place that they're at. And I don't believe that because we all have different different circumstances. And I think part of that is saying like, hey, I have to kind of figure out what works for me. And and I've shared this before. And uh, I've been on this kind of health journey for a little while. And a lot of people have seen really great progress in me because you can see it you know, in p images I share, um, how I've lost so much weight. I've lost, I think uh, at this point, about 110 pounds. And I've um, kind of just now I'm at this point where I'm comfortable. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm just trying to, you know, develop, you know, get more toned and things like that. Um, but I'm comfortable with my weight. But if you've no, if you followed me, I've been, I've been struggling with this for years. This is like, I think a lot of people see that, oh, wow, look at it. He just took control of his health. And it's amazing that what you can do in a, in a sh such a short time, but you, if you if you haven't been connected with me, I've been talking about this where I'm like, hey, I'm trying this thing, I'm trying this thing, I'm trying this thing. And so if you go back, um, I've talked about this before. I tried this weightlifting program and and it was good, it was helpful. It taught me some things that I used to say, but did I see the results I wanted? No. So then I tried this like extra this eating program. It was okay. I didn't really like the food, but whatever. Then I tried this lumen and yeah, it was good. It was helpful. But really what I started to figure out was I took a little bit from column A, took a little bit from column B, took a little a bit from column C, and then I made my own way. I made my own direction. And I think that we are so dependent on other people fixing our problems. And what happens if they don't? Then we're still stuck with the same problem, right? And I think that to me is one of the things that as you're listening to this, I want you just to, like I would actually really encourage you, one of the things I've been doing that's really helpful is you kind of notice sometimes if you're watching this on video, I have a pen lots because I'm listening to people, writing down some ideas, writing some down some thoughts. And I've been kind of writing some of these things and, and taking this time to kind of go through this podcast to figure out my own way forward, my own way to do certain things because um, like I, I'm a huge fan of getting up first in the morning, working out. I know I'm a way better person. 
some people just do not like to wake up in the morning and that's not what is helpful for them. So they like to work out at night and that's what works and that's what they do. Some people, um, I do intermittent fasting. I usually don't eat until about noon every single day and I eat um, noon, I have a snack in the afternoon and then I try to finish eating by six o'clock. That's how I do things. Some of you listening to this, like I need to eat first in the morning. And then you got to figure out your solution. You got to figure out your idea. And so if you go back and you look, you look at some of the things I'm sharing and what I'm going to encourage you to do is kind of figure out three things that you want to try. Just three things. Maybe it could be from this podcast, could be from someone you follow on Instagram, some book you read and try them and see how they go. Okay. And give them some time give them some energy, give them some effort, and then reevaluate. Take some time in about three, four weeks, what's working, what's not, adjust. Figure out something. Because I think a lot of times what I've done is I'll do the same thing over and over and over again because I think it's helpful, but then I see no results from it. But when I see no results, maybe it's I didn't lose weight, but maybe it helped me with A, B, and C right? So then I'll say, okay, well, this helped with this. How do I take this part of my process and adjust it to the next, next thing that I do and then reevaluate, try this. Right. And it's kind of like, um, when you, when you actually lift weights, you shouldn't do the same routine for the rest of your life. That routine might be so amazing for you right now, but if you do it for the next year, your body will become used to it. And then, it will become numb and you won't just actually stand still. You'll start moving backward. And so I think we got to constantly be in a space where we're kind of readjusting, reevaluating what actually works. So I'm so glad that so many of you have connected with me. Uh, Brian Carpenter, who has been like sharing this podcast. I know you're probably listening and I hope you're well. And uh, I'm going to give you a little <laughs> for sharing this on uh, Twitter and always doing your reflections because I actually learn from your reflections when you share this. So I want you just to kind of think about maybe what did you learn from this series? What has helped you? And then what will you figure out the way? I think a lot of times we hope someone else will solve our problems. Someone else will do this thing. One of the things that I, I think par- partly for me, the big push for me to really get my health in check was COVID. And it wasn't COVID in March. It was in i think august because i started seeing the biggest comorbidity for for death uh was obesity and i'm gonna be honest you nobody else could have helped me lose weight i had to do it myself i had to figure this out and and that's the thing is that a lot of times we just hope other people can fix these things for us and we always gotta be supportive of other people i think one of the things that has been really helpful for me is that the better i am on myself for myself, the better I can help others. And, but if I'm just counting on others, I'm going to be in trouble. And I think that's something that, you know, I want to instill in myself, but I actually also want to instill in my kids, right? Really kind of, it's not just what I leave for them, but what I leave in them. And I talk about that with my parents all the time. So I just wanted to leave with you with that last really kind of short episode, really kind of focusing on at the end of the day, you are the solution. I can provide ideas, you are the solution. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope this has helped you in some way. Um, really, I think if you're even here, I know that you're you're trying to grow. You're trying to get better. And I hope um, one thing I've learned is that we often take care of the health of other people. We take care of the well-being of other people. And we then end up having nothing left over for ourselves. And I hope that you see in this process that when we start taking care of ourselves, we are so much better to help others. We are so much better to find solutions to support people when they struggle. And that's something I've learned through this process. And it's why I wanted to share. I wanted to share some of the stuff that I've learned through this process to hopefully help someone, not give them the blueprint because I can't do that, but just give you some ideas in your own journey. So thank you so much for listening to Mindset Monday. Hopefully, we'll see you again in 2022, sharing this uh, podcast, um, maybe doing a new series. But I I like kind of the short 10 kind of HBO. This is like a limited series. 
Just wanted to see how it went, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all that you do. Take care. And thank you for being a part of Mindset Monday. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you have good holidays. Enjoy the break.